Now then, we're looking at velocity time graphs. Now, velocity time graphs, they're fairly new to the curriculum. It used to be just distance time graphs. But they're fairly straightforward uh, initially. So I've got three questions to answer using this velocity time graphs. It's velocity up the y-axis, time along the x-axis, as you would expect, similar to distance time graphs. Now, the velocity at seven seconds, so I'm going to go up here and read off. There we go, is going to be 6 metres per second. So for every second that elapses, you've gone 6 metres, quite quick actually. But there you go. So that's the first one, fairly straightforward. The second bit, the acceleration over the first 3 seconds, well we're finding, the acceleration you, you do by finding the gradient of that piece of line. So if it's a curve, you'd have to draw a tangent to that curve. But what we're going to do here, and you've got to read, oops, so it's gone along three and up six in that time. So the gradient is the rise over the run, isn't it? So that's going to be six divided by three. And so that's going to be two meters per second per second. So we call it per second squared. All right. So there you go. Now I'm going to have to rub out all of that stuff because I'm going to need to find the distance traveled over the whole journey. And I do that by dividing all the underneath up into shapes I can work the area out of because we need to find the area of each bit. So this bit is going to be a half times the base which is 3 times the height which is 6. This bit I'll write in there should be 7 times 6 and this bit is going to be a half times uh, 10 times the height is 6. So there we go. So if I work all of those out, half times 3 times 6 is going to be a 9, plus 7 times 6, 42, plus half times 10 times 6, 30. Add all them up, um, and you should get, what's that, 51, 81 metres. Okay, because we're travelling in metres per second, so there you go. Now, you often get trapeziums involved, or I've done a fairly simple velocity time graph here, but uh, that, I mean, you should know you can always look at the front of the paper to find the um, to find the formula for those. But ultimately, all you've got to remember is acceleration is the gradient of the line. All right, if it's a curve, you need to draw a tangent, find the gradient of that tangent, and the distance covered is the area under the graph. Okay, between the x-axis and the graph. All right.